Hey what's up, it's William from Rocket Zero and welcome to another Pixel R2 tutorial. In this video, we're gonna be building a derpy Charmander. And now for this Charmander, we're gonna be using some black, orange, yellow, white, pink, red, and then some brown wool. So we're gonna begin this Pixel R by actually placing eight blocks of black wool. But what we're gonna do is that we're gonna use just a random block and then on the top is where we're gonna start placing our eight black wool. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, after we have that row of eight black wools on the bottom, on this left side, we're gonna go up by two. So we're gonna go one, two. So make sure you guys have that, and while you do, I'm gonna go ahead and fit that hole in the ground because I don't know about you guys, but it's, it's gonna be annoying to look at. That's just gonna bother me. All right, so make sure you guys have this eight black wools on the bottom and then two black wools on the left. Then we're gonna grab our black again, and right here, we're gonna add four black wools going up. So one, two, three, and four. So make sure you guys have that. Now, every so often, after we build something, I'm gonna be taking a step back, allowing you guys to have an opportunity to hit pause, just in case you need a little bit of extra building time. But you can also feel free to pause it whenever you need to. So now let's continue. We're gonna add a black wool on the right here. And then on the top here, we're gonna have two diagonal black wools going up and to the right, just like so. Then on this left side, we're gonna add a weird shape. It's gonna be made out of three black wools like that. And then next to it, we're gonna go up by seven. So one, two, three, four, five, Sits and then seven black wools just like so. So make sure you guys have this so far. Then what we're gonna do next is that up here, we're gonna have just an orange wool on the right with three black wools going to the right and then three black wools above it. So make sure you guys have that. Then what we're gonna do is that we're gonna have just two diagonal black wool blocks going down and to the right. And then on the top here, we're gonna have four. So we're gonna go one, two, three, and four. Then we're gonna drop down, and we're also gonna have four going to the right again. So we're gonna have one, two, three, and four. So make sure you guys have this. Then we're gonna drop down, and we're gonna have three going to the right. So one, two, three. And then this time, we're gonna have two diagonal black wool blocks going down and to the left. So make sure you guys have this for the top part of his face. At the end of the video, we're gonna go back and we're gonna add a little bit of detail here and there, but for now, we're just focusing on the outline. So to continue this outline here, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna have four black wools going down. So we have one, then two, three, and four. And then below it, we're gonna have four black wools going to the left. So one, two, three, four. So make sure you guys have this so far positive if you need to. And then right below here, we're gonna have three black wools going down. So one, two, three. Then we're gonna move to the left and we're gonna have two black wools going down. Then we're gonna move to the right and we're gonna have two black wools going down. Now right connected, on the right of these two black wools, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add four. So one, two, three, four. And then below it, we're gonna have three going to the right. Then we're gonna have one diagonal black wool going down and to the left. And then we're gonna have sits across the bottom. So one, two, three, four, five, sits. So now let's take a big step back. This is what we should have so far for the outline. We still have to do the tail. So let's go ahead and start working on the tail, but this is just what we have so far. It's a great stopping point, if I might just suggest it. So now let's go down here, and what we're gonna do is that we're gonna have these two diagonal black wool. So one and a two, just like so. Then we're gonna have three black wools going up. So one, two, and three. And then we're gonna have five going up on the right side. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna have one diagonal black wool blocks going up and to the left. Then on this left side, we're gonna go down by two. So one, 
two. Then we're gonna have three diagonal black wool blocks going down and to the left. Like so, and that's what the tail should look like. Now we are gonna start doing a little bit of detail, so this is where it's gonna start getting a little bit complicated. So we're gonna go down here. We're gonna grab our yellow. And right here we're gonna add four yellow wools, just like so. So make sure you add those four yellow wools with two black wools on the right. And then above this black, we're gonna add two rows of yellow wools going to the left. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's gonna be our first row. Now let's add our second row of six yellow wools. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're gonna grab our black. And here we're gonna have, have two diagonal black wools. And then also one more diagonal black wool going to the right. So make sure you guys have this section right here. Now we're gonna go back to our yellow. And we're gonna add just a row of five yellow wools. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're gonna go back to this black wool here and we're gonna add another row of five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then right here in the middle, we're gonna go one, two, three. So make sure you guys have this for his little tummy. And now we need to start doing some of the eye parts. So for that, we're gonna grab our white wool. And right here, we're just gonna add three white wools. One, two, three. Then we're gonna add four white wools. One, two, three, four. And then we're gonna add one white wool to the left of this black. And then on the right, we're gonna go one, two, three. And then four on the top here. So make sure that his left eye looks like that. Then we're gonna grab our black and we're gonna place one black wool here and another one in this corner. Then in this corner here, we're gonna add four black wools going to the right. And now it's time to start doing his mallet. So for that, we're gonna grab our red wool and we're gonna place three red wools. Actually, no, 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 no! We need to go ahead, delete those red wools if you place them, because in this corner here, we need to go down by five. So one, two, three, four, five. So make sure you guys have that. And now we can do the three red wools that I was talking about. So one, two, three. See, because I noticed that it wasn't flush and I was like, uh-oh, I made a mistake. So yeah, make sure that you guys have this. Make sure you add those five black wools going down. And then one row of three red wools a second row of three red wools and then we're gonna do one red and two pink and then down here we're gonna make ugh, I can't talk we're gonna make a cube out of four pink wools now we can grab our black and we're gonna place two black wools on the bottom here and then two black wools on this side and then on this right side with those two reds and one pink we're gonna add three black wool. So let's take a step back. This is what we have so far. We're making great, but I mean great progress. So now what we're going to do is that in the middle of this three black wools right here, we're going to go we're going to go straight up by four black wools. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. So it ends up being connected there. And then one more diagonal black wool going down into the right here. And then we're end up with this big shape, which we're just going to go ahead and fill it in together with some white wool. And that's going to be Charmander's, or should I say, Derpy Charmander's white eye. Right, so we're making great progress. Now we just have to do his famous little tail. That thing cannot go out. It's deadly if it goes out for him, not for us. All right, so we're going to place a red wool on the left and a red wool on the right. And before we finish the tail, I'm so excited, I don't know why. We need to add three brown wools down here. So one, two, three. So make sure you add those three brown wools on the bottom there. And then on the tippity top here, we're gonna grab our orange. And then we're gonna go up by two orange wools on the left and then two orange wools on the right. Then we're gonna grab our yellow. And we're gonna add two yellow wools. And then a yellow on top of this orange and on the right of that orange. Now we need to go back to a red. And we're gonna place three red wools on this left side. And then three red wools on the right side. And then we're gonna add a red above 
each yellow wool so make sure you add those three red wools then a yellow in the middle with a red on the top and that's gonna be his flame and maybe you can use some of like that what's it called um I'm playing the old version of Minecraft maybe some nether rack and like lighter and fire that'll look pretty cool but the final step is just gonna be to fill it in with some orange wool if you guys enjoyed this video please hit that like button down below subscribe if you haven't and we'll see you real soon in the next video.